years. Everyone ready? Cone? Tell me again, what's lateral area? Uh, here we go, waiting, waiting. Take those earbuds out unless you're in the FBI. Uh, I'm just gonna guess a number, 15. Everything but the base, what is the base? Circle, so I'm gonna take off the circle, lateral area of a cone, ready, pi. Come on. Pi R, everyone ready for this? L, L stands for, on here already it was kind of the same as the pyramid remember what we called that height right here slant height so just so you know the pi rl the l stands for slant height we all good pi rl that's one i don't give you one i don't give you all right go ahead find it in terms of pi here we go, find it in terms of pi. Lateral area of this cone, terms of pi. So I have pi R L. Uh, did it come up yet? Nope. Rough day today with the internet, huh? Hendrick, do me a favor. One through 29, roll. Uh, don't pick eight or seven. 18, radius. Four, is that slant height given? No. What do I do, though, to find the slant height? Pythagorean theorem, want to set it up for me, Bella? Yep, equals that slant height squared. Got it. Bella, number for me. 25. Slant height? Five? Number? 16. In terms of pi, what's the lateral area? There you go. ARL. The hardest part is remembering it, not using it. Uh, I want you to come up with the surface area now of a cone. You know what surface area is? You come up with the formula. Thomas, number. Three. Stop right there. Lateral area. Now I'm going to add on the base, Emma. Pi at one circle. Pi r squared. Beautiful. Nice job. Okay. Pi r l plus add on a base. All good? Uh, is it the same cone I gave you? Look at that, huh? You're welcome. So the surface area, oh, nearest whole number now. Ooh, ooh, look at you. So we got 20 pi plus pi r squared. 20 pi plus, need somebody's help here. Emma, number? 10. Pi, what's the radius? Four squared. 20 pi plus 16 pi. Hey, quick, if I said in terms of pi, could you combine those? Could you combine those if I said terms of pi? Yes, you could. I didn't know. Sorry. Whole number. Dylan, number. Number. I wouldn't need one of those, you know, right?
That's it. I'm going to do one with you. You got the rest on your own. Here we go. I'm going to do one with you. You got the rest on your own. Lateral area in terms of pi. Here we go. Pi RL. Christian, need a number. Six. Radius. Two. Is the slant height 10? No, that's my mission impossible height, and that is the altitude of the cone. So, Nico, want to set up Pythag for me? What am I writing? Yes, you're correct. Thank you. We need an adjustment here for the board. 10 squared plus 2 squared equals C squared. That's not a perfect square. It comes out to be, sorry, kids. Square root of 104. It said in terms of pi, right? Now, I could be that guy and say break down 104. I don't want to today. All right, so we're just, I can't do much. So, meter squared. All right, yes, Nam, go ahead. Sure, as long as the pi is clearly outside the radical. Yes, that is fine. You can do it in a different order. Again, just make sure that pi is not underneath there with the 104. Everyone's all good. Okay, I'm going to let you go on your own for uh, two, three, four, and five, where we have one of those where something's covered up. If you want to work with each other, that's fine. Let me know when you're done with two, three, four, five. All right? Don't call me over one by one. Two, three, four, five. Let me see if you have issues, obviously, over beforehand. Make sure everyone can see it, please, the answer key here. All right. I just don't want people doing stuff without knowing they, if they got the right answer or not. Thank you. 